Welcome to today's video where we will be talking about why people are disliking Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Hey guys, what is going on? It is Sentry in here and today we'll be playing you're not even playing. Today we'll be talking about why Infinite Warfare is getting so much hate. You guys probably already looked up why and the trailer, um, and most of you already watched this, but this is just for people who just happened to cross my channel and haven't seen it yet, but... Um, so yeah, most of you probably watched the Infinite Warfare trailer, and the reason I say this is because if you look down in the, um comment section is that most players are disliking it because the setting of the future is getting unpopular and it's getting boring and it's getting you know too repetitive in games and stuff um, with um, jetpacks and stuff and I writ a, I wrote a bunch of stuff down and I'll be just reading it off to you guys what I, what I researched and stuff so here we go one. The future setting is unpopular. I was doing some research on the Infinite Warfare trailer and I looked in the comment section and players said that they were tired of futuristic shooters, which is understandable. Because you know, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 and now this game, all three games in a row and I was looking over YouTube videos and how people were getting bored of the new futuristic setting of like exosuits and, and you know, jump suits and jetpacks, but Battlefield 1, Battlefield 1 is going back which most FPS game fans thought that was pretty cool. And I, I thought it was pretty cool too. I mean, you know, that's why I freaking pre-ordered Battlefield 1. Um, thought that was pretty cool. But some people would probably disagree with me. So if you disagree with me, that's fine. You know, and stuff. Alright, um, so let's keep reading. The only reason some people are getting Infinite Warfare is because of the Modern Warfare Remastered. Because the only way to get this game is through buying it with Infinite Warfare, which people thought was kind of a ripoff, and I kind of think that too. And remember that I wrote this, so like it's my it's my opinion. And I yeah, the reason why I thought it was a ripoff be is because they should have had it in the second separate game, which I thought that was pretty like cool if that happened. But no, they decided to put Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered in the same, you know, in the same container thing where you have to buy it, both of them, for more money, you know, which I thought, that was just, wow, Activision, and then now freaking Sledgehammer, and now freaking in Infinity Ward, why Infinity Ward, okay, here we go. This is, th this is a really good point. Fans of Call of Duty want boots on ground with good stories. With good stories. Are you guys hearing that? Are you guys hearing that? Because good stories is what I want. Okay, so let's keep reading. Um, most might disagree with me, but the Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 storyline were very bad, and the reason why I say this is because even though I'm just a kid, doesn't mean I can't follow the storyline. I've been playing games since... It I've been playing games and following their storylines since I was about five, and I got each and every storyline of Halo and all the Call of Duty games. And I could understand them, but with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, I could not follow an absolute thing of where it was going or what it was doing. But you know, most of you might disagree with me, but that's only my opinion. So if you disagree with me, it's fine, it's totally fine, I understand, but it, I'm just saying is that I I didn't understand where it was getting, or where it was, you know, normal stuff. Okay, um, I thought this was absolute crap that these guys did it. Activision did it, um, and now Infinity Ward is doing it. Developers didn't listen to suggestions for Infinite Warfare, which to me is an absolute fail. You know, because of what they want is to sell their game and if they don't listen to somebody's suggestion or their even their fan suggestions they're not gonna sell anything and another thing is that infinite warfare call of duty in general is on its way to become halo from what i see from the past two games yes and also just to say is that it has a scene in the trailer where astronauts are fighting in space 
no joke if you go back and look at it they're literally fighting while floating about in space which I thought this was why and you might disagree with me you might think this is cool but you know this is only my opinion guys this is my own opinion and a lot of other people's opinions as well but I'm just saying it from my perspective and yes I did write all this down again I did write all this down and yes so hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys agree with me and if you did please leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't you'll be seeing a lot of games on this channel a lot of S FPS's um, so yeah um, thank you guys so much for watching next video um, by the way I will not be uploading on Sundays cuz that's that's you know this is my religion day so yeah Thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys will have a good day. If you did, good job. I'm proud of you, son. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.